If you're learning a new language, it can sometimes be tiring to go to a class, read a book. If this is true for you, it might be a good idea to start watching movies in English. So guys, in this lesson, let's watch a great scene of a movie together and learn some pronunciation tips, vocabulary, idioms, and expressions. Is there something I need to know? I need to have sex to get pregnant. Ew, Ma, that's gross. Ma, since when did you become a prude? Since you intimated that you want to have sex. Is there something I need to know? I need to have sex to get pregnant. Ew, Ma, that's gross. Ma, since when did you become a prude? Since you intimated that you want to have sex. Pregnant. Pregnant is a woman or some female animals having a baby or babies developing inside the womb. As you can see in this picture, this woman is pregnant. She has a baby inside. For example, she's five and a half months pregnant. My mother stopped smoking when she became pregnant. Let's understand the other meaning of pregnant, which means actually containing a lot of quality. So pregnant with something, which is a formal actually word, means containing a lot of quality. For example, every phrase in this poem is pregnant with meaning. There's something I need to know. I need to have sex to get pregnant. Ew, Ma, that's gross. Ma, since when did you become a prude? Since you intimated that you want to have sex. Gross. Gross. Gross means very unpleasant to look at or think about. There are two great synonyms for gross and they are disgusting and nasty. Let me give you an example. Oh, gross! I hate cockroaches. They are disgusting. Prude. I love this word. Prude is a person who is easily shocked by rude things, especially those of a sexual type. We call these people prude. Intimate. Intimate. Intimate means to make people understand what you mean without saying it directly. Intimate. For example, he intimated politely but firmly that we were not welcomed. Intimate. Hannah. All right, you're allowed to date, but you're not open for business. Hannah. Are you starting a business, Ashley? Ah, uh, go shop. Hannah. All right, you're allowed to date, but you're not open for business. Hannah. Are you starting a business, Ashley? Ah, uh, go shop. Open for business. Shop, store, restaurant, etc. that are open for business, they are operating and ready to do business. For example, the store is now open for business and invites you to come in. I was hoping a little retail therapy might take Hannah's mind off the headlines. Yeah, one murder makes the news, but two dead girls and a missing body? How big is your closet? I was hoping a little retail therapy might take Hannah's mind off the headlines. Yeah, one murder makes the news, but two dead girls and a missing body? How big is your closet? Retail therapy. Many English students don't know the meaning of retail therapy. Retail therapy is the act of buying special things for yourself in order to feel better when you are unhappy. That's called retail therapy. For example, I needed a lot of retail therapy to help me get over my ex-boyfriend. So here, get over my ex-boyfriend means to forget him, maybe to feel better after that. Take one's mind off something. That's a very nice structure. So to take one's mind off something is to stop or cause one to stop thinking about something, typically a worry or concern. For example, exercising will take your mind off your problems and give you time to decompress. He did it, right? Garrett hired someone to dig up that grave? This hasn't made the papers, but the prosecution had petitioned to have the body exhumed. 
He did it, right? Garrett hired someone to dig up that grave? This hasn't made the papers, but the prosecution had petitioned to have the body exhumed. Dig something up. Dig something up means to take something out of the ground by digging. For example, it's time we dug up those potatoes. Make the papers or make the headlines. That's a very nice phrase, very useful phrase, which means to be interesting or important enough to be printed in a newspaper, reported on television, etc. For example, news of their divorce made the headlines, which means it's reported on television, maybe. He did it, right? Garrett hired someone to dig up that grave? This hasn't made the papers, but the prosecution had petitioned to have the body exhumed. Prosecution. Prosecution. When a charge is made against someone for a crime, or when someone is judged for a crime in a court of law, we call it prosecution. For example, Ted could face prosecution for his role in the robbery. So maybe he had to go to the court. Petition. Petition. Petition is a written request signed by a lot of people asking someone in authority to do something or change something. Petition. For example, they wanted me to sign a petition against experiments on animals. A very formal and written request. Petition. He did it, right? Garrett hired someone to dig up that grave? This hasn't made the papers, but the prosecution had petitioned to have the body exhumed. Exhum. Exhum. Exhum is to remove a dead body from the ground, especially in order to check the cause of death. Exhum. But it was gone before the judge could make his ruling. I don't think it's a coincidence. Well, can I just tell you, I'm so relieved that the girls were out of town last night. For once, they were reading the news instead of making it. But it was gone before the judge could make his ruling. I don't think it's a coincidence. Well, can I just tell you, I'm so relieved that the girls were out of town last night. For once, they were reading the news instead of making it. Coincidence. Coincidence. Coincidence, guys, is an occasion when two or more similar things happen at the same time, especially in a way that is unlikely and surprising. Coincidence. Coincidence. For example, you chose exactly the same wallpaper as us. Oh my god, what a coincidence. There are three other great collocations with coincidence. Sheer or pure coincidence, which means a complete chance. Mere coincidence, which means it's only chance and nothing else. And we have happy or lucky or fortunate coincidence, which means it's a good luck. But it was gone before the judge could make his ruling. I don't think it's a coincidence. Well, can I just tell you, I'm so relieved that the girls were out of town last night. For once, they were reading the news instead of making it. Relieved. Relieved. If you are relieved, you'll feel happy because something unpleasant has not happened or is no longer happening. So you feel relieved. For example, Oh, I just finished this difficult project. I'm relieved. I just, I really want to turn my brain off. Can we, like, ditch our moms and go catch a movie? Uh, I can't. I have an appointment with Dr. Sullivan. Oh, you're seeing her again? Yeah. I just, I really want to turn my brain off. Can we, like, ditch our moms and go catch a movie? Uh, I can't. I have an appointment with Dr. Sullivan. Oh. You're seeing her again? Yeah. Turn one's brain off. Turn brown brain off means to stop you from worrying or thinking about a problem or pain, often by forcing you to think about other things. So, for example, the good thing about running is that it turns your brain off any problems I have. So sometimes when you have problems, when you have difficulties, you should turn your brain off and start thinking about something else. Maybe you need to distract yourself. 
I just, I really want to turn my brain off. Can we, like, ditch our moms and go catch a movie? Uh, I can't. I have an appointment with Dr. Sullivan. Oh, you're seeing her again? Yeah. Catch a movie. Catch a movie. T is not pronounced. Catch a movie. To catch a movie or film is to visit the cinema or to go and watch a movie to see a film. That's the meaning of catch a movie. In my free time, guys, I go out and maybe I catch a movie. That's my hobby. Ditch. Ditch is an informal word and verb and here it means to stop having something because you no longer want it. For example, did you know that Sarah ditched her boyfriend last week? So here ditched means ended her relationship. It has many different meanings. The other meaning of ditch means to not go to school, a class, etc. when you should. So you ditch the class. For example, did you ditch class today? So it happens intentionally. It's just Toby, I'll call him back. Does he like the loft? Well, he comes over to shower every day because the plumbing is broken, so I really like the loft. Mm. <laughs> it's just Toby, I'll call him back. Does he like the loft? Well, he comes over to shower every day because the plumbing is broken, so I really like the loft. Mm. <laughs> plumbing. Plumbing. Guys, keep in mind that B is not pronounced. Plumbing. So plumbing, as you can see in this picture, is the water pipes and similar systems in a building. Plumbing. Broken. Broken means damaged, no longer able to work. So if something is broken, it's damaged. Loft. Loft, guys, is a space at the top of the building under the roof used for storing things and usually entered by ladder or sometimes made into a room for living in. We call it loft. Come over. Come over means to come to a place, move from one place to another, or move towards someone. For example, is your family coming over from Greece for the wedding? I hope you enjoyed learning English with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. You can watch our new lessons on Sundays and Thursdays. Find our new English online courses at EnglishFitCourses.com. See you in the next lesson.